I'm Brett, and I bought a barn. Come on in, let me give you a tour. It was a storage shed. I parked my truck right here. This is only 600 square feet. I think it's the perfect size. I did everything in this house with my own hands. I was a professional ballet dancer. It's kind of strange because a lot of people think you were a ballet dancer and now you're like a construction dude. For me, it's so similar. I'm creating things in my mind and expressing it with my body. This is my kitchen, my massive island, which is where most of my friends and family come to gather. There was a local potter that handmade each and every tile. I just wanted a space where I could kind of declutter the rest of the kitchen. Clutter makes me feel anxious. This is my living space. There is some sort of correlation between clutter surrounding you and clutter in your mind. It has little pockets so you can hide things you don't want people to see. I might have a little bit of OCD. The budget was basically just as small as possible. This rug, brand new, it was $500. I got it on Kijiji for half price. Try and make the most beautiful space you can with the least amount of money. The couch is actually secondhand. I just got it recovered and it looks fantastic. It is actually really comfortable. These little holes were made by worms and they burrow through the wood. I felt like these imperfections gave it such character. This chair here was $80 on the side of the road. These stools are actually from a big box store. The legs were originally black and I just spray painted them white. There are a few pieces in here that are an ode to my heritage. I am indigenous. Come on upstairs and I'll show you my sleeping loft. It was a little bit of a challenge to utilize the space. I did some built-ins. I had enough space to do a walk-in closet here. When everything is exposed, it's so much harder to have things look organized. I came up with this to actually create some more headroom by adding a skylight. It also doubles as kind of an indoor-outdoor shower. Most people that walk in here just go, oh my god, this is so unexpected. From the outside, it doesn't look like much at all. And when you get to sit back and see something that you've created with your own two hands and your mind, it's all worth it. There's something about this space that I just, I crave. It's a hard space to leave. It's so comfortable. It's perfect to me. Even when I'm away, you know, I'm, it's like I'm, I'm so looking forward to going home.